In this video, we are going to talk about Tableau extract files. What are Tableau extract files and how do we use Tableau extract files, where to use and how to refresh. So we will see how to create it. So open the TW file, the Tableau workbook file, TWBDACSDIY and use the data connection as we used earlier and then go to the data sources tab and click on extract button so let's do that I go to the data sources tab and on the connection section you would see an extract button live and extract live means that for dashboarding and all other purposes you would be using directly this Tableau DIY BDCS sales file. When I click on extract, Tableau is going to run a process and it's gonna extract, that means fetch all the data from this file and create an internal Tableau file with an extension T D E, which is Tableau Data Extract. So clicking on Extract, you would see there is loading data process here and it's loaded. It says Extract will include all data. From now onwards, if a data changes or any data changes in Tableau DIY BDCS sales, it's not gonna reflect on the dashboard unless and until this extract is refreshed. So let's keep a live connection and I'll show you a second method to do an extract. Another method to do an extract or generate an extract is to create a right click on the data source in a worksheet and click on extract. So let's do that. You go to any worksheet, make sure you have the data tab available. You see the DIY sales. And also please see the tick mark on this data source. Now I right click and I say extract. It give you, gives you a pop-up screen. You would say all rows. This is incremental refresh if you want to refresh incrementally. or Top, if you want to fetch only top 100 or 1000 rows, you do not want to fetch all records. So for now, I'm going to use all rows and I'm, click on, I'm clicking on extract. You would see that it opens up a, a file location and it says DIY sales BDCS extract. So you can save this extract. You can rename it or save it, save the extract. And now you would see that the icon has changed. It's an it's an icon, a small arrow pointing downwards, which means it's an extract. If you want to use the live connection again, right click and remove this extract sign and you can see that arrow sign is gone so again use extract and you have the extract and if you say do not use it won't use the extract so that's how you would shift from a live connection to an extracted file Right, so time for our exercise hands on. You would create a data extract using your own TWB file you have been using. Thank you for watching.